things that people spend money on that are wrong. We should support each other and each other's choices. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're tackling a topic that's been on my mind for a while. I watched a video that said, things people spend money on that are wrong. And the video highlighted, you know, everyday expenses like candles, manicures, pedicures, and vacation as wrong and excessive. You know what, here's the thing. So many of these wrong expenses are actually important forms of self-care for a lot of us. And I'm here to make the case that we need to stop being judgmental pricks and start supporting each other. So let's dive into why these expenses matter and how can we embrace a more supportive mindset. So hi, I'm Eva. I am the founder of Fierce Rich Money and after two years of unemployment, I'm back in debt. I got out of debt before using my plan and I'm doing it again. This channel is about normal ways of getting out of debt, not the extreme ways that litter the internet. We're going to cut through the lies and misinformation being told to us because you know what? That's keeping us poor. All right. So, you know, let's talk about what self-care really means. Self-care is all about taking time to maintain your mental, emotional, and physical health. It includes activities that help you relax, recharge, and feel good about yourself. So whether it's a luxurious pedicure, a calming candle, or a well-deserved vacation, self-care looks different for everyone. And it's important to recognize that these activities are personal and valuable in their own right. And this is something close to my heart, pedicures. For me, a pedicure isn't about pretty nails. Like that's just a side effect. It's a form of self-care that provides me relaxation and peace. For a half an hour, I sit in a massage chair, I shut my phone off, I don't get asked any questions like, where's this, where's that? You know, it's my time, it is heaven. Pedicures, manicures, and other grooming activities can offer significant emotional benefits. They help people feel pampered, relaxed, and even more confident, and it's important to appreciate these rituals and understand why it matters to others and not call it wrong. Oh, candles. Some people might see them as frivolous, as a frivolous expense, but for many, they're a crucial part of creating a cozy and calming home environment. Candles transform a space. They improve ambiance and provide a sense of tranquility. And, you know, if a candle brings comfort to you, then they're worth it. They're worth every penny. It's about what makes you feel good in your personal space. For me, especially in the winter, I love candles. I use both the flameless electric ones and the regular ones you light. My sister taught me this one trick. She, sa she sets hers off at different times on a timer, so it's pretty cool. All right, vacations. Some people might question why others spend on travel, but for many, Vacations are essential for your mental health, for family bonding, and creating lasting memories and experiences. And you know what? I am one of those people. Vacations offer a break from routine. They help reduce stress and provide opportunities to explore new places. You know, investing in experiences like travel can be a meaningful way to enrich your life and, again, foster well being. Travel aligns with my values. I want my son to see the world, not just some little piece of it. You know, there's so much to do and explore in the world. And I want him to experience all of it. All right. So why judgment is unhelpful. So it's so problematic to judge these spending choices. You know, judgment comes from misunderstanding, a lack of empathy, or jealousy, or all three. What seems unnecessary to one person might be a vital form of self-care to another. And how about instead of criticizing somebody's spending habits, try to understand their perspective. 
everybody has different needs and ways of caring for themselves, and that's okay. We should focus on supporting each other rather than tearing each other down. Support can come in many forms, you know, show empathy by listening to why a certain thing matters to someone. If you have concerns about their spending, offer constructive advice rather than judgment. Or you know what? Keep your opinion to yourself. Encourage open conversations about financial choices and self-care by being supportive and understanding. We create a more positive and respectful environment when everyone can feel valued. Foster a positive growth mindset. You know, adopting a positive growth mindset is about, about personal spending can be incredibly freeing. Embrace the idea that what works for one person might not work for another. And guess what? That's perfectly fine. Celebrate the diversity of self-care practices and respect the different financial priorities people have. You know, by fostering positivity and understanding, we can all benefit from a more supportive and inclusive community, all right? You know, these things might be viewed as, you know, wrong or unnecessary, can actually be vital forms of self-care for others. Look, for me, all three, pedicure, candles, vacations, these are expenses that provide significant emotional and mental benefits. So let's stop being judgmental. Let's support each other's choices. You know, by doing so, we create more compassion and an understanding community. So I would love to hear your thoughts and comments below. What self-care practices do you value? What are you willing to do? Like, I will not go out to eat or go someplace cheaper so that I can have a pedicure. Like, it is that important to me. That half hour-ish in the chair, phone off, no one asking me any questions. Sometimes I get the question, would you like some coffee? Uh, yeah. Like, how great is that? And that is so worth it to me. So if you can do it, do it. Don't let other people talk you out of it. All right, I will see you in the next video.